you may have heard about the deforestation of Indonesia's rainforest for the production of palm oil. Palm oil plantations threaten already endangered species and some of the world's most biodiverse ecosystems. But palm oil production also contributes to the destruction of a lesser known ecology, peatland. Peatlands are the world's largest carbon sinks. This video explains the local impacts of peatland destruction, as well as the importance of peatland ecologies for the earth system and its climate. Palm oil is the most widely consumed vegetable oil on earth. It is present in over half of the packaged products sold in supermarkets and it is used in most cosmetics and detergents. More recently, it has also been used to produce biofuels. Indonesia is the world's largest producer and exporter of palm oil. To meet rising global demand, Indonesia is creating vast palm oil plantations by clearing peatlands for production. Approximately 25% of Indonesia's oil palm plantations are currently on peatland, although this number is on the rise. Peatlands are swampy forests. There were once massive lakes that have since been filled with decaying trees and other vegetation that has lied buried for thousands of years without oxygen. Because of their high water table, this vegetation does not fully decompose. Instead, it becomes a key site of carbon storage. Peatlands are the world's largest carbon stores and play a critical role regulating global climate. But because peatlands are too wet and swampy for palm plantations, Companies must dig deep drainage canals in order to drain water from the peat soils. Because of its high carbon content, this dried peat soil is highly flammable. This makes it easy for plantation developers to clear huge areas of peatland by setting fire to their holdings. Whether intentional or not, these fires often get out of control, especially during the dry season. For example, the drought caused by the 2015 El Niño event made that year's fire season one of the worst on record. Over 2.6 million hectares of land was burned in only five months, an area that is roughly 4.5 times the size of Bali or nearly equivalent to the whole of Belgium. Because these fires spread deep into the peat soil, they can be hard to extinguish, sometimes burning for months at a time. Because peatland ecologies take thousands of years to form, they are not easily rewited to stop the spread of uncontrollable fires. While the extreme flammability of peatlands means these areas can be cleared with minimal effort and at nearly no cost to owners, peat forest can be as much as 200 times more damaging to the atmosphere when burned than other types of vegetation. This is because they store much more carbon but also because the burning releases large amounts of methane, an especially harmful greenhouse gas. To put the risk in context, consider this. Over a period of just three weeks in 2050, the carbon emissions from Indonesia's fires alone exceeded the total annual carbon emissions of Germany. Even after the peat stops burning, dried peatlands continue to emit carbon dioxide. As the formerly wet peat is exposed to open air, organic material starts to decompose and release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And, even after surface fires are no longer visible, burning can continue deep below the ground releasing a toxic haze which can have severe health effects. The pollution level in villages near the fires regularly exceed the maximum level on the International Pollutant Standard Index. But the impacts of the peatland fires extend far beyond these neighboring villages. Neighboring countries such as Singapore and Malaysia annually experience a haze season as a result of these fires. While it has been argued that palm oil products are critical to the Indonesian economy, 
the annual estimated economic cost of fire to Indonesia far exceeds the economic gains from gross palm oil exports. Despite this destruction, global demand continued to rise. It is predicted that a further 5 million hectares of Indonesian land will be converted to oil palm plantations by 2020, with half of this plantation occurring on former peatlands. This amount of peatland alone stores more carbon than is released annually by total global consumption of all fossil fuels. If these peatlands are destroyed to make way for new plantations, most of this carbon will be released into the atmosphere. Rising levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide contribute to more extreme weather events, but their effects also include diluting the nutrients in our food supply, increasing the range of many virus carrying insects, and warming the planet as a whole. The global demand for palm oil and palm oil products means that the destruction of peatland is a shared responsibility. The transformation of peatlands into plantations must be understood as an urgent problem with global consequences.